Hey everyone, welcome to Car Review. Today we're going to be reviewing the movie Tag. This is meant to be a non-spoilers discussion, so let's get into it. Uh, yeah, this video is going to be a little different from my other ones uh, because uh, I actually had a little bit of time in between seeing the movie and getting this review done. Um, I saw Tag with my best friend over the weekend and we got a really late showing. It was probably near midnight, maybe even a little after midnight when we got out of the theater. And uh, I ended up just crashing at his place and I went to work the next day um, and everything. And then uh, I'm, actually, I'm actually recording this after uh, work on Tuesday. So I had about a day, maybe a little more than a day to do this. Just with my busy schedule, I wasn't able to get the review done. But anyway, um, tag. It's a movie. And it's, it's honestly something you shouldn't see. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it was bad. I, I did not like it. Um, the idea and the premise there, it, it's weird. It's, you can tell it, you know, it's, it's Hollywood just trying to get a quick buck. But, I mean, it was also a fun premise. It's, it's based off of this, a true story, an actual true story of this group of friends who have been playing tag for over 20 years. And that's how they managed to, to stay friends and still be a part of each other's lives is that they, they get together once a year to play tag and they've been doing this since they were kids and that was honestly a pretty cool concept I that just kind of spoke into my inner child and you know and uh, you know I used to play tag with my friends you know when I was little and you know I still hang out with my friends and I could just I saw you know the, the pure core friendship aspect of the film that they were really gunning for and I like the trailer too, so, so you know, me and my best friend, we went to go see it, and uh, I can't remember the director's name, but I'm pretty sure he's a first-time director. Um, this might be his first movie. If it's not, it's like his second one. Maybe he did like a couple music videos, but I'm pretty sure this is his first film. And while it'd be really easy to pinpoint all the blunders of the film onto him, which, you know, he's the director, he's going to get some of the heat, I don't... I don't put it all on him because I thought that the, with the material he was given, with the actors he was given and all the circumstances while filming, I thought he did the best he could. I thought he did a good job with what he was given. Um, that being said, though, the film has its problems, and I think the core of it has to do with the script and the writing. I don't know the writer's name either off the top of my head, but it was just, it really, it, it felt really bland. You know, so I can't, I can't, you know, discredit the director for, you know, making a, a bland movie when he has a bland script. But again, he is the director, so he has partial blame on that. But also, I'm going to give this movie a little bit of a pass because um, Jeremy Renner is in the movie. He plays Hawkeye in all the Marvel movies. Um, while filming Tag, very early in production, he broke both of his arms a stunt. Yeah, they, he broke both arms. And I mean, for any movie, that's that's going to be, you know, awful. But uh, a lot of his stuff is actually kind of physical in the movie because he's, he's, uh, he's kind of the center, he's kind of the main dude um, of uh, the film. And I remember reading online that, uh, that the director, he was so, you know, obviously he was nervous for Jeremy Renner because, you know, that's a big injury, but it's also, he was also nervous for his career because um, the amount that he wanted to delay it would have uh, pushed the release date back and the studio did not want that. And then he said that there were even talks of just scrapping the, the movie entirely, even though they had already done a little bit of shooting and everything. They just, they, for a brief moment, he said that they, he thought it was going to get canned. And, you know, being a relatively new director, that would have probably have torpedoed his career for a good while. Um, you know, so he, not only did he have what I think was a poor script, but he also had his star um, in the hospital with two broken arms for a while. And they ended up filming the movie and shooting and getting it complete. But the majority of Jeremy Renner's stuff, I believe, is he has CGI arms. Um, it's all computer generated things and, and I mean if you're a big film buff you should go see this movie just to see that alone because I actually was looking for the CGI 
witness in the film, and there were only a few moments when I saw it, which either makes me think that maybe they did get a little more filming done in prior to him having the injury, or um, the CGI was that good that it was unnoticeable, because I looked at the production of this film, or I looked at the budget, I mean, and it had a bigger budget than I thought it would. I thought it was going to have to be like five, ten million. I'm pretty sure it was close to like 30, maybe maybe 20 to 30 million. Um, so I think a lot of that went towards uh, um, creating CGI arms for Jerry Renner. I could be wrong, but, but that's just my interpretation of it. Um, but regardless, though, there are some scenes that he does have CGI arms, and there are some that you can tell, and there's others that you can't tell, and that was, that was you know, that, that's a big undertaking to, to, to uh, you know, to do with stuff. Um, but actually getting to the actual film itself, um, this is a comedy, first and foremost, and while there were a few times I did laugh, I did have an actual couple good laughs in this, um, I did not like the film because I found it boring, and um, a lot of the comedy, while I did laugh sometimes, I found a lot of the comedy rubbed me the wrong way, and it was just really untasteful. Um, when I say that it has dirty humor, I don't mean that in like the sense of like hangover movies, you know, where it's like, you know, like jokes about like sex and alcohol, and that's, that's in there, obviously, but there, there's this string of jokes about halfway, maybe a little over halfway through the movie that go on for like five to ten minutes, it, at least it felt that long, and it was just completely off-putting, it took me out of the movie, they joked about a very serious and touchy subject to the point where I was literally shifting in my seat, and I felt uncomfortable watching, and I turned to my best friend, and I said, I can't believe that they're joking about this subject that much, because it was just over and over and over and over again, and I, it's, it's like, I don't see how, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say what it was, because, you know, again, it's a, it's a touchy subject, but, uh, you know, and I'll leave that to anybody who wants to see the film, but, uh, they just, they really, they really just drove it home that they're trying to joke about something that really shouldn't be joked about, and they did it, it didn't even come off funny, it came off awkward, inconsiderate, um, offensive, is even, uh, you know, I know that's a word that's thrown on a lot in today's media, news and stuff and all that, but, but I mean, I also, I turned my best friend after the movie, after the credits were done, and I, and I said, I can't, I can't believe that they, that they joked about that, and we talked about it, and I was like, I would not want my mother to see this, I said, I'm not taking her, because we talked about going together, I, I'm gonna tell her I don't want to go, um, I don't even want to, I will probably never see this movie again, but I don't want her to see it, because I could see her getting really, um, heated up and, and offended by, by this, this section of the film that they just, they really just repeat over and over again, and it was, it was really untasteful, and in the theater, which was actually quite full, um, people were either completely silent during this part, like, there was almost no laughs, the occasional chuckle, you know, but, but for the most part, they were either silent, or gasping, or there was whispering, and, like, murmuring, and you could actually physically hear people, like, shift in their seat, because they were uncomfortable, it was a really uncomfortable moment, and I don't think they should have done that, I think that if they would have cut out this section of the film, not only would it have been better, but it just, it just would have been an easier pill to swallow, because up to that point, the comedy had been really hit and miss, and again, I thought the film was actually quite boring, um, you know, but taking out that part would have softened the blow of what was already just a knockout, you know, and not in a good way, you know, it was just, I did not like the movie tag, and it's, you know, they threw some money at it, they said, you know, go make a film off this premise, they gave it to a relatively new director, you know, I get it, this, this was, this was, it's just a B, a B plus movie that they decided to throw out in the summer season and try to make some money back, I get it, um, the cast is good, um, Jeremy Renner is awesome, you know, um, Ed Helms, I think is his name, he was in Vacation, and he was in a couple episodes in The Office, he's hit and miss for me in the film world, but I mean, he was alright, uh, John Hamm was in this, he was pretty good too, and there were some others, uh, other really good performances in it, but 
I'm being so vague, but I mean, I just, I don't want to talk about it, like, specifically, I'm just trying to allude to it, that there is this, this chunk of the film that's just, it was, it was off-putting, it was gross, and, and I can easily see people getting upset with it, um, so it's really not a good date movie, um, you know, I, and even if that wasn't there as a film overall, it's, it's not that good, want to see it go ahead but I mean I'm not going to say go out and see it if it's on Netflix maybe you know home video not really worth a buy you know just if it's on TV turn it on watch it for a bit see if you like it if you like it watch it the whole way through but yeah just kind of just it was overall really weak you know and I, and I wanted a little more and I get it it's just you know it, it's a pretty simple story well it's, it's a small story you know just friends playing tag for for years you know it's kind of hard to make a film about that and make it funny um yeah it was just it was pretty goofy and, and just yeah it was it, it's a throwaway movie it's, it's it's nothing special so you know without repeating myself for going any further into just destroying this movie because I, I mean again i'm sure that director will you know, if he can find a good film, he'll knock it out of the park. Because again, I thought the wicked part was the script. Um, so those writers definitely need to just, you know, they gotta wash that taste out of their mouth with writing something else. Um, but uh, yeah, just that, that's tag. Um, so yeah, like, comment, share, do all that stuff with this video. Um, if you've seen tag, you know, let me know.